Hey YouTube, Christian Pepper Gal here, and today I'm going to be putting together a meal in a bag that is one of my very favorite entrees when I go out to eat at a restaurant, and that is chicken fettuccine alfredo with broccoli. So why don't you come along with me? The first thing we're going to do for this chicken fettuccine alfredo with broccoli meal in a bag is get our Mylar bag that we're going to put it in and then write out the instructions on it so that whoever eats it will know how to cook it up. And I've also put the date, today's date, and the date uh, that it'll expire in five to ten years. I didn't used to put that expiration on there because I thought I could rely on my memory for that, but some meals will last longer than others so it's a good idea to put that on there just so we know you may also note that I use the Mylar bags with a gusset so that they will sit so I can fill them up and they'll also sit lots better when you put the water in to cook the meal itself and I also get the ones with a zipper in them so that it can be this bag can be reused okay now the first thing we're going to put in this Mylar bag is the chicken. This is freeze-dried chicken that I got from Augustine Farms. And um, once you open up that big can, it's, it's an excellent idea to put it into something that's airtight um, and it'll last much longer that way. Otherwise, if you leave in the big can, it only lasts for like a year. This way it'll last up to its full potential of the 15 to 25 years. So we're going to put one quarter cup of the freeze dried chicken into the Mylar bag. And there's the freeze dried chicken chunks. And then the next thing we're going to put in is some fettuccine pasta. This is pasta that I have cooked and then dehydrated. And the reason for that is because it makes it like instant pasta, like instant rice. It takes a lot less time to cook. And for these meals in the bag, it works great because we're only going to put them in like hot water and let it soak for 15 minutes. So this works really great for that. We're going to put one full cup of the fettuccine noodles in the Mylar bag. Whoa, it all wants to come out at once. Okay, there we go. And it went all over the place. Now the reason I have this funnel is to keep from getting powders and stuff all over the, the uh, Mylar bag so that when we go to seal it up, it's going to have a tight seal on it. Okay, the next thing we're going to put in is the dehydrated broccoli. Um, you can buy freeze-dried broccoli if you want, but what I do is I take actually frozen broccoli florets that I get from the grocery store, and I dehydrate them. And that's what we're going to be using today is my dehydrated frozen broccoli florets. And this is how those look. And this is one quarter cup. Next, I have some Parmesan cheese powder, which is a freeze-dried powder. It came out of this jar, but I pre-measured it so I would have it. Um, this is a uh, Hoosier Hill Farms Parmesan, freeze-dried Parmesan. And I've got three tablespoons in this container. I'm going to go ahead and dump in. The 
next item up will be sour cream. Powdered sour cream. And again, this is Hoosier Hill Farm powdered sour cream that I took out of the container it came in and put into a canning jar and uh, used my vacuum sealer attachment to take the air out so that it will have a longer shelf life. Then I just took the directions, printed them out, and taped it on the outside. You can't really see it's not focusing in good, but that's what that is. And for this, we are putting in one tablespoon. And like I said, I already pre-measured it to make things go a little quicker and easier during the video time here. <laughs> then the last of the powders that we're going to use is buttermilk powder. And again, Hoosier Hills Farm buttermilk powder that I put into the mason jar and sucked all of the air out with my vacuum sealer and the jar attachment. So we've got two tablespoons of the powdered buttermilk. All these powders look the same actually trying to, that's why I left the little container right on top so I could tell what's what there. Okay, now we're going to add some other ingredients and we'll start with some cornstarch. And this is just regular old cornstarch. And I've got two tablespoons in here that I'm going to go ahead and put into the bag. Then I have one and a half teaspoons of chicken broth base or chicken bouillon. Um, this is just more self shelf stable and easier to use in the meals in a bag. So I've got, like I said, one and a half teaspoons here. And uh, you could substitute that for one and a half cubes of a chicken bouillon cube. And it's chicken flavor if I didn't mention that. Then here I just have a mixture of spices. Um, just to save us some time. And what I've got is one teaspoon of Italian seasoning fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, an eighth teaspoon of salt, and an eighth teaspoon of, of pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that in. And that's all we need to put in the bag. I'm going to show you now <laughs> inside the bag. You can see everything that we put in there. Now the next step is to place an oxygen absorber inside the Mylar bag. These oxygen absorbers are 300 cc's and that's what I use in the quart size Mylar bags. I also use that in the pint size Mylar bags. Anything larger and I'll put two of those in it. But I'm going to go ahead and close this up. I'm going to uh, close the zipper halfway squeeze out as much of the air as I can get there and then close the zipper the rest of the way. Then we're going to get my um, hair straightener iron and seal the top. So hang on just a moment. I'll be right back with that. And I am back and I have my hair straightening iron all heated up and ready to go. I would like to note that I do not use this on my hair. It is strictly for sealing Mylar bags. It wouldn't be very sanitary <laughs> to use it on my hair and for food products. At least that's my opinion. So I'm going to take the Mylar bag, which has already been sealed and we put the oxygen absorber inside just a few moments ago. And on the edge here, I'm going to just take my curling iron, clamp it down there, and heat seal it. Well, it only needs to stay on there for a few seconds. Can you see the difference here? The heat sealed, the not heat sealed side. So I'm going to turn it over and we're going to do 
this side as well. Just hold it on there for a few seconds. Another thing uh, that I did not mention that I want to mention, that I actually forgot to, <laughs> was that these Mylar bags are seven mil thick. Um, they're the thickest ones that you can buy. And I like to buy them thick myself because that way you, there's not as much of an issue of the food breaking through um, and poking little minute holes in the Mylar bag so the air won't be able to get in. So it's the best protection that you can get. And I will put a link down below in the description box to um, the Mylar bags that I buy on Amazon. I'm not an Amazon distributor or anything or associate. I have nothing to do with Amazon other than I'm a faithful consumer of their products. Okay. And just making sure we got that all sealed. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but you can kind of see there where it's not sealed just at the top because this has a little tear indent where you can tear it across and open it up. So. Okay, so that is it for putting the meal together. And I will actually also put a link to the recipe in the description box down below. <laughs> and if you liked this video, please click on the like button below. And if you would like to see more videos like this, then please click on the subscribe button as well. And click on that little bell that's next to it um, and choose that you want all notifications. That way when I do put out another a new video, you will see the notification in your home page. I will be back in a couple of days to show you how to cook this meal in a bag. But I want to briefly just tell you that all we're going to need to do is take one and a half cups of boiling water. Well, first open the bag. <laughs> take one and a half cups of boiling water, pour it into the bag after. It's been a while since I've done a video and I'm just like all over the place. I apologize for that. I do not use scripts as you can probably tell. So let me try that again. <laughs> okay, we're going to open the bag, take out the oxygen absorber, and then just pour one and a half cups of boiling water into the bag. Then we can zip the bag back up, let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. It works really well if you put a, a towel or a t-shirt or some kind of cozy around it to um, insulate it to keep the hot water in. But then that's all it takes. Uh, let me backtrack. After you've added the water, you'll want to stir it up <laughs> okay, to mix the water and get everything all mixed up. And then let it set for the 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so that's it for today, but check back in a couple days or watch on your on your um, YouTube homepage uh, for the notification of the video of cooking the meal in the bag. So thank you for watching, and until next time, happy prepping, and God bless.